What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of the CPA channel. Today we will be looking at paper tree, task tree on algorithm. Right? So a typical question will look like this. Okay. Um it's totally plain. So let's start reading and check out the question. When the game starts, each balloon appears at random locations. When the boy collects a balloon, the blip sound is played, the score is increased by fifty points, and the balloon disappears. Okay, so notice that there's each balloon, so I'm assuming there'll be more than one balloon, but in this scenario, the boy collects one balloon only. Okay, so we'll get down to that later on. Okay, now, create a flowchart to represent the algorithm given in the text box. The flowchart must include all the steps in the algorithm and contain appropriate flowchart symbols. Save your work as a word process document, balloon, your name, sentence number, index number. Okay, so what you should do when you get the question is to actually underline right, the important words, keywords in the question. Okay, so and on top of that, now you should plan out your symbols. So I should actually plan out now the symbols are here. The first one is the start. Okay, the start should be here, terminator four so i have two starts okay the start and the end although it's not mentioned here it should be right about there at the end right the balloon appears insert shapes so it's going to be this one random location okay we're just gonna put those two together now when the boy collects a balloon is equivalent to if the boy collects a balloon Right, so there will be a diamond, a diamond shape, which is here, flowchart diamond. Right, so I have a diamond over there. Right, and collects a balloon, the bleep sound is played. So just going to duplicate this, control D, duplicate, sound is an input output, the score is increased. That's a process over there. Okay, and as the balloon disappears, I go once again, it is an input output. Okay, so now after doing the planning, then we will get down to the actual drawing. So that way it will be much faster to complete the question instead of going in and out. So I'm just going to take out my countdown. So stopwatch, so I'm just going to play, see how long I'll take to do this question. Right, so we're going to start off from a fresh Microsoft Word 2010. Okay, in the other video I'll be doing from 2013. Okay, so I'm just going to alternate tab. In your case, you have your question paper. So, when you start, first and foremost, you should save your work. Save as. Okay, I'm just going to save as in my desktop. Right, it says earlier on. Mm, the mod file. What is the mod file? Sorry. Okay, balloon. Right, so the new file. File save as, balloon, so on and so forth. Balloon, this is my desktop, yes, B A L O N, index number, myself. Okay, let's customize enter 3066. That's a bit random, and the index number, save, done. Okay, first and foremost, you should speed up into putting the four symbols in such shapes. The terminator. Okay, it looks like a hot dog, don't forget that one. It's right here, the fourth one over there, the diamond. And the fourth symbol, which is the input output, right? So when we go back to our question paper, you notice there's two terminators, three input outputs, and one diamond and one process. So I'm just going to go back to this, and I'm just going to duplicate it three times, right? If I'm not mistaken, process disappears and terminate. And somewhere there. So I'm just gonna zoom out, control, scroll out. Okay. Let me check that question again. So it's uh before the diamond this process randomly appears. Check location, collects a balloon, blip sound is played, at score, balloon disappears. Okay. Now it's almost ready. So I'm just gonna press shift. And click. I'm just going to go to format over here, right up here. 
um, line, I am going to first distribute them vertically. All right, and I'm just gonna distribute them vertically. Hmm. Just gonna center them, center align them. Yes, very nice. Okay. Now next, now the blue will be a bit too cumbersome. Right, so I'm just gonna go to format and I'm gonna choose this first one over here. And normally I like the shape outline to be slightly thicker. So 2.14. So I've got a very well spaced out symbols. Now the first one is normally be start. And the last one is an N. This one over here, balloons appear at random locations. Okay, that's done. Are we okay on that? Yes, very good. Okay, if the boy collects a balloon. So, if boy collects balloon. Okay, it's a bit too small, so I'm just going to resize this up again. We probably should have aligned those things together first until the last part. Right, so that should be a question mark. The diamond comes with the question mark. Okay, zoom out. Right, it's okay. So what happens, the blip sound is played, so blip sound is played. Score is increased by 50. Next one is the balloon disappears. I tend to get to spell that wrongly, don't I? Balloon disappears, maybe I just make it longer a bit. That's a balloon. Balloon. Okay, we are almost done to getting our 14 marks. Just gonna space this out a bit and maybe the decision too. Okay. Now let's do that. I'm zooming out again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pressing shift as I click. Alright, align, center, distribute vertically. It's beautiful. Okay, insert shapes. There's an arrow up there. Now, once you've distributed them vertically, the shapes will be of equidistant hence now what happens is that the arrows will also be of equal length one two three four five six three six okay one it fits very nice okay done done this one may be a bit longer Okay, now for the diamond, uh, it's a check. So we will be needing, okay, what I, the diamond needs to loop back, all right? So I'm just gonna duplicate this one over here. It's just gonna pull it down a bit. I'm gonna duplicate this one over here. I'm just gonna touch it over there. A straight one, okay. This time around, I'm gonna press control so it locks in position, duplicate this. Click over here to the end. It's gonna go the other way. Here to here. Okay, occasionally you like to press control. So the it's either perpendicular or vertical. Now I'm letting go of the control. Okay. That's fast. Right. Okay, I'm gonna put a yes and no. So I'm just gonna duplicate a box, which could be this one over here. The yes will go down. Okay, we keep our flowcharts pointing downwards, so the yes for the diamond is going to go down, and a no loops back on top, right? So, because if nothing happens, it doesn't collect, it just continues to check, not to reappear, the balloon to reappear again and again, right? So that's where we put our line. Um, over here now, we're going to go to format again, shape outline, no outlines. So it looks as though they are floating in the air. Okay, there's some feel over there, so I'm going to shift again. Shift and no feel, right? 
Okay, we are done with the foreign marks. Okay, don't forget to... So don't forget to put a question mark over here, right, and duplicate your lines, and format and align, distribute. Okay, how long do we take? All right, about 7.3 minutes. Okay, if I had done this without so much talking, it would be much faster. All right, so within 7 minutes, I would say you get this question done. All right, so thank you for watching. So do enjoy attempting the question, right? So the tips are to underline so the eyes focuses on the question. Draw out the plan of the shapes first before you actually draw the flowchart. Save your work regularly, save at the start, and duplicate the first four objects. Create the four unique objects for unique flowchart symbols and duplicate and save them and duplicate, right? And uh, align them, distribute them and duplicate the arrows. Okay, enjoy. Please like. If you like the video, click like and subscribe. Good luck for your exams.